Everyone, uh, I, I noticed in the uh, last slide, uh, my name was uh, wrongly written as Adeshina. So my name is Oyeshina Kayama. <laughs> so I, I, I've been invited to talk about my uh, uh, learning, learning experience in Hong Kong. Uh, well, a lot has been said already, so I'm not going to uh, waste uh, your time. Uh, but uh, this is just a brief introduction of myself. So my Bachelor of Technology degree was from Dalton. And uh, the, my major was Power Systems Engineering. Uh, for Masters, it was Signal and uh, Information Processing. And uh, recently, I concluded a PhD in um, Applied Electromagnetics. So if you are familiar with electrical engineering, if you look at all these three uh, no, stigma, no, no, no. would say they are not related. They, <laughs> they, they, are, are, they are still related. in line. <laughs> so, uh, at the start of uh, my PhD, it was um, really tough because I've only taken two courses in my entire life uh, in uh, electromagnetics, two undergrad courses. Uh, so I did not think I was very uh, prepared for. Uh, and you, you can see it took some time, right? So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, so uh, I have uh, a few things I maybe would like to share my experience, but uh, maybe for some of them I'll just keep to just uh, one. Uh, different people will have different uh, uh, experience, right? Because um, there are so many factors that come into play. For instance, uh, when I applied for a PhD in city, so I applied to my MSA supervisor's uh, group. Uh, but at the time, he couldn't take uh, any students, so he, he forwarded my application to a new professor that has just been appointed. So when he interviewed me, he was not even in Hong Kong. He was still in Canada as a postdoc, but he was going to resume uh, shortly before I, I I, I come to Hong Kong. Uh, so basically, I interviewed him because I I had written a pro proposal on dielectric dielectric resonator antennas, and this guy works on metal surfaces. So he told me, ah, I've just been appointed. I'll be going to Hong Kong also in 2018, and this is my interest. This is what I want to do. So he gave me like a 30 minutes uh, presentation. Then I asked him questions. Um, <laughs> he asked, uh, yeah, uh, he made it sound very simple, actually. He asked if I'd be interested to uh, join him. At the time, I just wanted to, you know, uh, go for a PhD. Uh, they are related, but uh, it's metal materials and metal surfaces are like engineered materials. So you have naturally occurring materials. They behave in a certain way, uh, they react in a certain manner to EM waves. But you can actually make some other materials. You can, you can make new materials that will behave in a different way. For instance, when you look, I, I'll just give a simple example that maybe everybody can relate to. When you look into the mirror, you should uh, see yourself. Like the angle of incident, when you look, if I have a mirror in front of me, if I'm looking straight into the mirror, I should see myself also in this direction. So if I have a mirror here, if I look from here, actually if you do like some ray tracing kind of thing, uh, you have an angle, angle of incidence. The uh, reflected wave will also be at that angle. This happens for all naturally occurring materials. But you can decide to make your own so that uh, you can change the angle of incidence. You can basically disobey the law of the that's what it means. Uh, so in simple terms. Uh, so it was easy, it was not so easy for me to adapt. Uh, people also, in choosing research topics, uh, some people will be lucky that what they know about, what they intend to do, will be what you want to do. I have been around for a while. I've talked to other people, to colleagues. And it's even possible that you have written a proposal it was accepted. You get into the program. After one year, after two years, the financial will change your 
research direction. So these things happen. Uh, then building relationship with uh, your advisor. My supervisor is actually my friend. So <laughs> it was a bit um, uh, easy, easy for me. Yeah, so. so many people don't have this privilege. So my supervisor is my friend actually. <laughs> yeah, uh, I met this guy in, in the canteen. And he talked to me, uh, ah, he was so concerned about, told me I, I talked to her, like how is she settling in Hong Kong, blah, 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 blah. Then I told her, ah, your supervisor is so nice. And she was so surprised because I think the guy has never talked to her before to maybe ask her his name and all that. So there are different people, different people will have different experiences basically. Uh, then research skills and time management, uh, so many speakers have talked on this, so I, I won't waste your time, but uh, also you can try to network and collaborate with colleagues. Uh, then there will be many challenges, actually, especially for people who do lab work. Uh, there are so many factors that come into play. You expect something to work in a particular way but you may find out that uh, many times it's not so straightforward. Uh, so uh, when I got into City in 2018, so I submitted uh, a paper to a conference. So this conference is um, for the APS Society. It's the biggest EM conference. In so uh, I submitted after three years of my PhD work, and I, I actually so I, I entered for the student competition, and I got an honorable mention. So it was a big deal. But I did I achieved that in less than three three months after my study. Then uh, I was very happy. I submitted on this simulation work. Then I proceeded to the experiment. And I have just submitted the experiment paper after like five years. So, wow. <laughs> yeah, so uh, these things happen. So it's not always going to be like uh, straightforward. There will be challenges. Uh, uh, people have talked also about work life. Uh, so uh, I think uh, what I want to hammer on is that um, there will be things that you cannot control. There will be some of these things that fall within uh, there are things you can directly influence, like for instance your work-life balance. Sometimes there are things you can you can be intentional about it, and sometimes um, it's not just within your control, right? Uh, choosing your uh, research topic, you can do your homework, you can have a good uh, understanding of what you want to do, but um, it's also possible that you have supervisors who just don't like that direction. Also, uh, maybe you know what you want to do, but your supervisor is not really interested. Sometimes there are two things. He may not be interested, maybe he has some other projects he's interested in. And what you are doing, uh, he, he's not really interested. Or maybe, sometimes, he is not well balanced in that area. So you are going to have challenges. You should know there are things that you will be able to and also, at times, or well, many times, there are just there will be some things that are not within your reach. So you have to know the difference between the two, and then you uh, make the wisest decision possible. Yeah, so, uh, in conclusion, <laughs> yeah, so uh, everybody knows that uh, the ideal uh, condition to play football is uh, dry pitch not too hot, not too cold. Uh, but you cannot control the weather, right? Like here we have uh, a waterlogged pitch. Uh, so it's left to you whether you want to, in, in spite of all these difficulties, uh, it's a decision you have to make whether you want to stay, enjoy the game, or maybe you want to just uh, go home. So I I wish uh, you all the best in your study.